Nothing must happen to Namdi Kanu in detention. Igbo veterans in the U.S. tells Tanubu as they uncover plot to poison Mazi Namdi Kanu. American veterans of Igbo descent have written to President Bola Ahmed Tanubu, alleging plot to poison the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Mazi Namdi Kanu. The letter was dated October 6, and jointly signed by Abbott President, Dr. Sylvester Anya, and Secretary, Dr. Godson of Biagwu. It reads, We hope this letter finds you well. We the American veterans of Igbo descent, AVID, are aware that people in your government are planning to kill the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipab, Mazi Namdi Kanu by forcefully administering a poisonous substance into his body by injection. Your government should be such that protects lives, especially that of innocent man, Mazi Namdi Kanu. It should be such that restores the rule of law that has been marred by the fragrantly disobeying of court orders by the previous administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. Avid is urging you Mr. President to not allow this dangerous plot to happen under your watch. Please do not allow mindless people to collapse a union that is already fragile. Note that Nigeria cannot afford another Abiola's case. According to Dr. Ofor, the group which comprised of highly placed individuals from Nigeria, had advised MKO Abiola about the faith that was about to befall him, noting that their advice was ignored. And now they are advising the president, that now he is in charge he should ensure that Namdi Kanu is released, and nothing should happen to him. Meanwhile, the former US ambassador to Nigeria John Campbell, has said that, Nigerians were never consulted before the amalgamation took place. The amalgamation of Nigeria by the British was done for their own administrative convenience, without any consultation of Nigerians, and without even very much thinking about what the consequences might be, of putting together in a single unit 350 different ethnic groups that had little in common with each other. Nigeria's constitutions had been imposed first by the British, later by various military regimes, and were never submitted to the Nigerian people for a vote or for ratification. The country was imposed on Nigerians, they've never had a say on how the constitution should be or what should be inside it, he said. This is exactly what our great leader Mazi Nandi Kanu has been talking about over the years, and they wanted his head for speaking the truth. May the good Lord bless our great leader Mazi Nandi Kanu and Ipab leadership, and God bless Biafrans all over the world. God bless the United Nations of Africa and may God bless Russia. All hail Biafra. Stay safe, stay blessed and stay tuned. Make sure you share this widely and make it go viral. Very important.